All right, guys, we are back in my garage for another video, and today we are going to be installing wheel studs on the 340i. I'm partnering with Motorsports Hardware to get this done, so a huge shout out to them for sending out this wheel stud kit. I will have a link down in the description where you guys can order if you're interested, and if you have any questions about picking the right stud kit for your car, your specific application, I can definitely help you out there as well. So just reach out to me on any of my social media channels or by email and I can help get you the kit that works best for you. But I'm super excited to get this done. Obviously the bolts on our cars work okay, but wheel studs have a lot of advantages. They make wheel changes way easier and they're pretty easy to install as well. So it's kind of a win-win if you're going to be upgrading your car and doing any wheel swaps in your future. Especially for me, I plan on changing my wheels when I get to the track. So this will just give me another easier way to get things done between sessions. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to install them on my car so that you know what to do if you get a set and hopefully you find this video useful. Now as always for everybody that's new to the channel, I create these videos to help keep you updated on the latest developments in our community as well as discuss technical topics so that we have a better understanding of how our engines work. So if you're interested in more videos like that, be sure to subscribe because there will be a lot more coming out in the future. So in order to install your wheel studs, the first thing you need to do is jack up the car. Obviously you need to remove the OEM lugs in your wheels so that you can install your new wheel studs in their place. So go ahead and jack it up. I have all four corners jacked up because I'm doing other service that requires it to be lifted up like this but you can you know, definitely do one corner at a time if that's your preference. So loosen your wheel lugs, jack up the car, and then remove the wheels so that we can get access to the holes in our hubs. All right, so now we can take a quick look at the wheel studs before we put them on. So this is the packaging that they came in, and you can see it comes with some stickers, it comes with instructions, so I guess this video isn't really needed, but either way, you know, really nice kit, really high quality looking hardware, packaged really well. So, can't wait to get these installed. So the kit comes with studs and nuts. I went with these regular kind of bullet nose studs. They have a nice motorsports look and it also helps avoid cross threading because the nuts basically slide onto here and it just centers it on the thread so that it will go on a lot smoother. So especially if you use impact wrenches or anything like that, this just helps prevent you from having issues with the studs. And then it has a little Allen key head. So that makes installing it really easy and torquing it down. And then you can see it's just threaded on both sides. They also have sizes for F and G series. Uh, this is the 14 by 1.25. And then they also have 12 by 1.5 for E series. So just make sure you're paying attention to which one you need based on the vehicle that's going on. So like I said, installing this is very simple. I just kind of put down a napkin right here and we're going to take the actual wheel stud and just put one drop of medium strength thread locker. So nothing that's permanent, it should be removable. And then we are going to hand thread it into the hub like this. There we go. And then we're going to do that for all five holes. Now you're going to want to go ahead and get a torque wrench because you need to torque these down to 25 foot pounds. I know it doesn't sound like that much, but majority of what's keeping these torqued in place is going to be the blue Loctite. So what I'm going to do to just hold this in place is put a breaker bar right here and I can kind of hold it with my legs to prevent it from turning.
Now we'll let that cure for a little while and we'll go do all the other corners as well. All right, and now the moment of truth. So let's put these wheels on. So much easier. No more banging them up against the brakes. They stay properly by themselves. And then we've got the new nuts also from Motorsport Hardware. So make sure you have a 19 millimeter deep socket because it's no longer going to be 17 millimeters. So these wheel studs are much, much longer. It does allow you to run, I think, up to a 15 millimeter spacer, which I will need to do with the OEM wheels. I'll need to be able to add a spacer. All right, so those are extremely long. But the nice thing is if you add, I think, up to like a 15 millimeter spacer, this length of stud works with it. So you don't need any longer bolts or anything like that. This pretty much sits flush with the face of the wheel and still allows you to run that much of a spacer. So pretty cool. And, um, you know, just overall, it gives added security, ease of putting the wheels on and off for track days or if you just like swapping wheels for seasons and stuff. Um, it makes it a lot better. So I think it looks really good at this point. All you need to do next is lower the car onto the ground and then torque these to 90 foot pounds and you'll be good to go. It's really that simple. So hopefully you guys like this video again, check out the link down in the description. If you guys are interested in ordering, if you use my affiliate link, it helps support the channel. And of course, let me know if you need any help picking out, you know, the right length of stud or if you want certain combinations with the studs and the nuts or anything i can try to help you out with that as well but yeah i think that's it for this video so thank you guys for watching and i hope this helps and if you have any other questions or comments leave them down below